Well, good morning, my friends. It is April 3rd, and it is currently 12.01, just after the hour of 12. I uh, was doing this video, and I got a phone call, and I couldn't figure out how to disconnect it, so I had to do, start this video all over again. But here we are in Kentucky. It is a beautiful day today. It is uh, The sun is shining. There's not a cloud in the sky. Nice blue skies. Very nice. Very beautiful. Uh, the only thing, though, is uh, the only downside is the weather, uh, the temperature, anyway. It is currently 54 degrees, so it's still on the cold side, with a high of 63 today. So, when do you think it's going to warm up, huh? When do you think that we can go outside with its shorts and tank tops on? Hmm? When do you, when do you think? Uh, I'm getting kind of tired of this cold weather, so let me, down, let me know in the comments below when do you think this is going to happen. Anyway, uh, now that I showed you that, I'm gonna flip this camera around and come back, and we'll come back in a minute. And so, just give me a few seconds. Bear with me while I rotate this camera around. Alrighty, Dighty. Well, good morning again. My name is Matthew, aka the Nucleus Cyborg. Sorry about that. There we go. Got it. As I said, uh, it is Saturday morning or afternoon now. I guess it's after twelve o'clock. So, uh, and here I am. I, like I said, I'm coming to you on uh, Saturday, April third, just before Easter. Uh, and I'm coming to you after my usual morning lineup on Saturday, which, uh, Saturday, first off, I do not get up early, I, early, I set, I don't set my alarm so I can sleep in, I got about two and a half hours more of sleep today, so that's very nice, and then, uh, what I do is I usually just get up after I plan, after I feel like getting up, and, um, I enjoy a nice leisurely cup of hot tea um during the weeks yes i make my hot tea that's uh that's what i drink i don't drink coffee and uh yes i, I you know i put it in a travel mug to uh you know take with me to work but you know on saturdays and sundays i just love to just sit down enjoy the peace and quiet with a nice cup of hot tea uh and i i, I need it on saturdays i need that starts my recharging my batteries uh for the next week so, uh, you know, uh, first off, uh, you know, then after my, uh, that's first off, and after my hot tea, what I do is I get up, um, I'll go back upstairs, and I'll uh, get out of my PJs, pajamas, and I'll put on some bummy clothes, you know, some things I don't uh, mind getting dirty, uh, so I can start cleaning, that's the next thing on my list, and so, uh, uh, what I do is after I bring down a load of laundry, so I can start a load of laundry, and then I come down. I come back downstairs in my bummy clothes, and I usually start in the kitchen area, where I uh, wipe down the countertops and you know do the dishes, unload the dishes, load the dishwasher as needed. Uh, I wipe down my uh, dining room table, which I hardly ever use. Honestly, I usually just uh, get uh, get whatever my uh, dinner is or, or whatever food on the weekends, and I'll just sit in my living room watching TV, watching TV. Okay, and then when I get done with that, well, I've uh, forgot to mention that uh, you know the, I have an iRobot vacuum, and so I that is in my living room area sleeping while I'm in the kitchen cleaning. So, and then when I get done with the kitchen, yes, I go into the living room area, and so I swap out the iRobot, and the dock, the charging dock for the iRobot is in the kitchen. So when it's done, uh, it just goes right back into the dock, and so that's all good. And so yes, I. Uh, I got a lot of wood surfaces, you know, uh, in the living room, and so I wipe those down and stuff like that. And then, uh, I, then I move into the downstairs bathroom, clean clean that, you know, because uh, it's downstairs. I uh, it's a half bath, but whenever I have uh, guests, uh, which my mom and my dad have come over a few uh, once or twice, a few times. And then uh, uh, I've had a few friends over, but you know, the downstairs bathroom is where they're going to be, they're going to go into. So that's gotta be squeaky clean. 
So do that, and then I like to also when I'm downstairs change out the uh, what do you call them? Air wicks, whatever you know, the little plugins into the wall will keep the uh, place smelling nice. I mo most of the uh, plugins that I have in here are lavender. I love the scent of lavender. Uh, but in the, the downstairs bathroom, it's actually cinnamon apple, which again my house is decorated in uh, Disney and Star Wars, and so my bat my bathrooms are both decorated in Disney and Mickey Mouse, and so I kind of like uh, to try to like uh, this the smell, you know, you go to Disney World, there's the, you know they have what they're called smellitizers, and so you know you pass like you're passing like a a popcorn stand, I and mean, you can. At, well, before you get to the stand, you can actually smell popcorn in the air, and that comes from smellitizers, also from the ice cream, you know, and then uh, if you press in the candy, sh any kind of candy shop, you'll smell things like caramel apples and stuff like that, so I, it, that's why I have a cinnamon apple in there, so, you know, trying to get the experience, keep the experience alive, you know, that way I'm at Disney even though uh, I'm at home, and so, then when I come upstairs, what I like to do is, uh, you know, again, uh, uh, I wipe the banisters down. I, I, I got two two flights. You go up one flight, then you turn like 180 degrees, and you go up another flight of stairs to the second floor. So I uh, wipe those banisters down. Then I come into this room, and uh, this doesn't get much foot traffic. This room, this spare bedroom, but uh, I like to uh, again clean under the windowsill, clean clean the uh, countertops behind me, and all that stuff. And then uh, the little cardboard cutout I have, you might have seen why I was rotating the camera around. Uh, I take that off and I just put it in the hallway or put it on the bed because I'll come in here with the well, vacuum uh, in later. So, and then I go into my bed, my bedroom, wipe down again, wipe down all the uh, countertops, and uh, go into both closets, wipe down the, everything in there, and then of course the bathroom. You know, clean the bathroom, clean the shower. Uh, the toilets in both places got to be squeaky clean, and so uh, for anybody that I want to show this house off to, so you know, it's just got to be squeaky clean and clean the countertops off. And yes, I clean the mirrors. Does anybody else have any problems with cleaning mirrors? I hate cleaning mirrors. I mean, I hardly ever clean them unless there's like something. I'm sorry, you know, it might be it might be disgusting, but you know, if you have something, if something is on there, you see like a, you're sorry again. Brushing your teeth and you know you get flecks of uh, toothpaste or something on there or something something like that. That's the only, really the only time I clean them because I end up leaving it dirtier than it began. I streaks and lint and all over the place. Uh, I hate cleaning mirrors. Uh, that's it. That's it. I hate cleaning mirrors. Anyway, so when I'm done with that, uh, everything all the everything's clean. The rags and the uh, you know uh, spray bo spray bottles of cleaner. So get all that up, and I'm putting all my dirty rags in one pile. That way, I can just pile them into the laundry into the laundry when I'm done. Put all the cleaning supplies away, and then what I like to what I have to do next is uh, I like to vacuum. So I come back upstairs and I get my actual vacuum out. I bring it downstairs, and what I like to do see downstairs is hardwood or hard floors. So the iRobot takes care of that. What I like to do in the uh, is uh, the car the carpet is the uh, the stairs coming up is carpet and then the upstairs is carpet. So run the sweeper on the stairs. There's a little uh, landing just between the two flights of stairs. So vacuum that, vacuum the other flight of stairs, and then I come in here and vacuum. And then I'll come in my I'll go in my master bedroom and vacuum and go inside and go into both closets and vacuum in there. And stuff like that and so then I'll take uh, by then the iRobots are usually done so I'll take both of those and clean uh, both of the uh, you know tubes or you know the reservoirs that catch all the all the stuff and clean those out and dump those in the trash can and um, last is to mop and so uh, uh, the downstairs of uh, living room area is vinyl is vinyl it's, it looks like wood but it's vinyl actually and so it can only you can only use hot water so I just I have uh, three rag, mop rags and so I use them all I use all three one of them I just use with hot water and mop the living room area and then uh, I'll add some uh, like floor cleaner and so the second mop is what I do is I wring out and then uh, after I'll use that in the kitchen area, and then there's a little tile space 
beyond the front door before you get to the actual uh, hardwood vinyl, or, or vinyl, not hardwood. And so I clean that, use one rag to clean those two surfaces, and then I'll use the final rag to clean uh, both floors and the upstairs bathroom and the downstairs bathroom. And so, and that's pretty much, and that's pretty much it with cleaning. Uh, you know, I'll fold any laundry that's done, and the next part is, of course, to clean myself. And so, you know, I hop in the shower, and I get dressed and ready and all that stuff. And so, uh, I always like to, again, uh, I love to put on, I love to put on a nice cologne. I love to smell great, and uh, that brings me to today's topic. Uh, my, uh, oops, sorry, over here. My fragrance for the day is uh, Armani Code Perfumo. Uh, I love this fra I love this fragrance. Uh, I believe uh, Jeremy fragrance got me on this fragrance here. Uh, it's very nice and uh, does well in the cold weather and like I said it's still kind of cold here. So let me see if I can pull this up on my uh, I get again I get all my fragrances from fragrancenet.com. Uh, yes, here it is. Uh, amp up your Evening with Armani Co. Perfumo, a men's fragrance by Giorgio Armani that pairs sweet, refreshing fruits with spicy and masculine elements for a contemporary scent that wears well as a youthful signature fra fragrance. Rich, richly spiced cardamom and bright green apples tantalize your senses, drawing you into the herbal lavender and warm nutmeg that lies underneath. Finally, Notes of leather and 2016 scent foundation bring a s sense of rugged masculinity to Armonico Perfumo. And let's see if I can find my account. When did I? If I can see, just uh, well, I don't, I can't really pull it up. It would take me too long. No, but I'm sure I bought this after 2016. So that's very nice. And actually, I put this on not only because it goes well with the cold weather today, but also because I told you uh, I said I shave well did I say I shave well anyway uh, Saturday mornings I like to shave I because my phone on the floor uh, um during the weekends I use my ra uh, electric razor on it you know this shave off the tips but during the week or uh, during the weekend I like to shave under my chin with the the actual uh, uh, Gillette hydro uh, so uh, Armani code when I bought this it came with a package and uh, you know it's got the uh, after shave bomb uh, Armani code so uh, put that I had to put that put that on so you might as well put a cologne that smells like it so let me get my phone here on the floor so that's that that's very nice uh, that's my uh, uh, fragrance for the day uh, I'm gonna be putting a little bit more I'll put a little bit more of this on hey wait a second what happened here the uh, the little pu push button broke off uh, Well, actually, I don't want to spray here because, uh, I, again, I just shaved, and so, uh, yeah, the alcohol and the and fra and cologne and all that stuff. But, uh, bef uh that's it. That, uh, that I'll do this video. Uh, so let's see. But before before I sign off and uh, wish you all a happy day, I want to shout out to two people. Let me see here. Two people have joined my... Uh, Two people have uh, subscribed to my channel on YouTube uh, ever since my last video. Uh, let's see. One subscriber four days ago, Blends by KF. And, and then, uh, let's see, where was the next one? New subscriber two days ago, Melissa White. So, I want to shout out to those two people. Actually, Melissa White is a old colleague of mine i believe i if this is the same one which i'm pretty sure it is uh which i i left facebook a, a long time ago and i haven't been back i didn't go back for a while i just came back to again try to promote my youtube channel through facebook and so uh i found her again she she either sent me a friend a friend's request or i did and uh, either either way uh we're friends again and we were friends at work before she left and so uh i believe that's her so good to see you again Th uh, thank you for the two subscribers and you know i i told you in my last video that you know i, I wanted to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of this year and there's just so many things so many uh factors 
you know, I, I told you I don't, I lack the charisma or whatever. My videos are not like a professional. I, I don't really put in like a, I don't know. I can't amp up the video and, and other ways that other YouTubers do. I just do this. I'm just kind of like doing this on my, on my phone or I'm sorry, on my computer. And so, uh, you know, if, uh, if I get anybody that can help with that, I'm, I am actually looking for, uh, a class maybe they can uh get me to so i can uh amp up my uh youtube channel and get uh, and get some more subscribers uh trying to find a, a signature way to open the, the video and a signature way to close the video and stuff like that uh but you know that's just not me so it's twelve sixteen. so i'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye i, I got a few things to do today uh last Thursday, this Thursday, just past Thursday, I just uh, saw a light come up on my, I saw, I noticed a light on my car, and I'm not sure what that is, but I need to go take, get that and taken care of, so I need to run by Vaveline and see what, see if they can do anything about it, uh, it's probably just the, it needs an oil change, maybe, probably, I don't know, and then, uh, but, uh, since it's, uh, Saturday, April 3rd, tomorrow is going to be Easter, so, probably won't be able to do it tomorrow, and then probably won't be able to do it till next, next Saturday, because, you know, I just won't have time during, during my work week. Anyway, I thank you all for watching, I, please, I would, again, I would ask you all to subscribe to my channel, uh, I'm looking to, you know, I'm not sure what, it'll, what will come with it, come of it, of it, but, you know, if I can reach a thousand subscribers, I keep doing these videos, even though I said it's probably a lost cause, I said heck with it. I just bought this brand new computer right here, MacBook Pro 16 inch to do to do these videos on. So just see where it goes. Uh, just but do it, keep doing it, and then may, you know hopefully by the end of the year. I mean it's only April, so you know again got a whole lot of a whole bunch of months to go. Maybe I can reach it by by the end of the year, a thousand subscribers, and then if I keep adding videos like this, my sign my signature sent for the day. Or uh, fragrance for the day, you know. Maybe I can add up to what what how many of those hours that you need uh, for a uh, you to make money on the YouTube. And if I could just uh, make videos on the weekends, you know. Again, I'll try to come back tomorrow with my signature scent for the day, and uh, you know, we'll just keep piling on these videos and see where it leads. Anyway, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have a nice day uh, wherever you are. I hope it's uh, nice and bright and sunny where it is, and hopefully it's not cold. Uh, I like to say that, uh, also, see, that's another thing, too. I'm always forgetting, losing my, uh, train of thought, so, that's probably, uh, <laughs> I don't know, pay, pay, maybe people like that or something, uh, funny, it's funny for them, I don't know, but I'm always losing my train of thought, but anyway, uh, go out and be safe, uh, Oh, if you wear cologne, you know, uh, let me know what you're wearing today, and uh, I, hope, I, I hope everybody smells good. I love to smell good myself. I mean, I, I've uh, said it before, but, you know, work, uh, as of now, it's getting a little bit, uh, our rules are changing again where we can uh, we can start to wear, uh, there's no uh, rule against wearing fra uh, wearing a fragrance anymore. Not just, not just colognes or perfumes, but... Uh, I was watching. I was a uh, near a colleague of mine the other day, and she, she was wearing something. I mean, it was just a uh, lotion, but she smelled awesome. And so things like that. For me, fragrances are everywhere. I'm telling you, man. You put, uh, you got hand lotion. You got uh, deodorant. You got you got uh, you know, toothpaste. You got uh, women with those. I mean, uh, my ex girlfriend. She wore this uh, herbal essence, and I'm telling you. It was smelled so good. I loved it. And I mean, smells, smells, and fragrances are everywhere. So I really don't understand why anybody would ban ban fragrances like fragrances from work. I mean, it's. Uh, I understand that you know you have to be careful. I, again, I'm, I'm, I've been uh, no nah, think about it. I've been I've been, have been following this new this new uh, YouTuber called uh, Michelle Fra Michelle Curley, and she's a uh, a lot of things she likes to say is she likes sissy sprayers uh so you know but she's uh, from your Euro uh europe the netherlands and you know here in kentucky in america you know maybe rules are different so you know i tend to go with what uh one guy told me a few years ago three five and seven 
uh, sprays. Uh, I like to do more sprays on the weekend, obviously. But during the week, work week, you know, trying to... I work in a corner by myself, so it's really... But I still have to work through the building periodically. And so I usually only do three sprays and for work week, you know, during the weekends, depending on if... I don't, how I'm feeling, I'll go up to se I'll go up to seven. I put five on this morning. I put three on my skin, and then I'm starting to I'm getting more comfortable with putting fragrances on my clothes. I didn't not on my uh, vest here, but uh, on my black shirt. Uh, so five sprays, and uh, you know, just trying to get the people to notice me. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I just passed twenty minutes, so I'm gonna say goodbye. You all have a nice day. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to my channel. We'll leave a comment down below. Give a like. Give a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Thank you all.